Please have a seat, everyone. Oh, this is a really exciting time. Uh, as uh, uh, CEO Shola mentioned, and uh, the Middle East India team has, uh, have made a great accomplishment. Uh, even though I believe that we, we, we must be on the early stage, actually. Uh, I really shall appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, dear colleagues, so welcome to this wonderful uh, night at uh, Grand Hyatt. It has been too long since we, we all had dinner together here in Mumbai. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm so excited to, to be here tonight. I arrived here via New York and São Paulo, Brazil. I couldn't imagine a better place to be then with you here right now. It's not easy to express how we feel at this moment. As a matter of fact, when I came to India to establish AMC, several people commented that many foreign AMCs would face challenges the, from the government regulation and the, through the ups and down cycles of the Indian economy. It was back then that I firmly resolved Mirese would stay with you regardless of any short term economic situation. In fact, as you know, the almost every single foreign AMC closed their business during the crisis. But we persisted. And now Mirese is not only one of the last foreign AMCs in the market, but also we have become one of the India's fastest growing AMCs with significant growth in 2016. <laughs> so we are writing a new chapter for foreign AMCs in India. Tonight, we are here to celebrate and recognize the efforts of the Mirese India teams gathered here today. Thank you all for your continued effort and the long-term commitment you have placed with Mirese. I'd like to stress again, we'll push for more opportunities through M&A and investment in India. We'll launch more innovative products targeting the global market as well as the Indian domestic market by putting together the best group of the talented people here in India. I, I have also decided to either establish or acquire security firms here in India. <laughs> I'm also very interested in uh, acquiring an algorithm company so in order to develop robo advisor, especially in uh, uh, India. And uh, we will look into the real estate market in India. I like the board, for example. Uh, this will be another important milestone in our commitment to the country and our global presence. As I mentioned in my year end address, 2016 was a year of the grand, great transition and uncertainty in all aspects, politically, economically, and socially. None of that has changed as we begin 2017. Wealth polarization and increasing tension between the privileged and, and the underprivileged 
have all been drivers of unconventional political developments we see today. The fourth industrial revolution is evolving at a pace previously unseen. The, the world is undergoing a, going an unprecedented transformative era similar to the advancements we witnessed from vacuum tubes to transistors to microchips. When it comes to talk about the future, I can comfortably say the future is happening now around us. As for emerging market of all, the emerging countries have built up the resistance to dollar, dollar strength since the Fed increased the signaling of a near-term hike in interest rates. Unsurprisingly, emerging markets have been the biggest winners so far this year. Stabilized and uh, improving earnings in 2017 will also help investors take another look at the emerging markets. And uh, as long as the, the middle class in emerging countries continue to grow, the overall investment environment will continue to change significantly in the emerging countries. India has been leading emerging markets through policy reform and an innovation-driven economy. That is great. Despite all these structural shifts around us, we continue to make progress in diversifying our business and strengthening our global footprint. This year marks the 20th anniversary since our foundation. As for Mira's total AUM, it's now over 300 billion US dollars across the group. With Mira's assembled companies AUM is over 100 billion US dollars at the end of the 2016. Reflecting on the past, I still remember when I first contemplated what kind of company Mires should become and represent. I firmly believed and have never forgotten the core of the Mires DNA lies in investment for organization as well as client and society. Mutual trust, respect, and consistency in everything so must be what our business is about. Looking forward to the next 20 years, we should continue to endeavor as permanent innovators with an open mind, build on what we have accomplished thus far, and never cease to improve our product innovation and the business portfolio in all aspects. I am personally very thrilled about the steps we will be taking this year, especially here in India. It's all of you, all together, Mira said, continue to evolve as a global financial company. I really appreciate all of you again. You have been making an emerging story, amazing story in India. And I believe India team will represent your capability in the global market soon as well. I hope you guys to enjoy time together to share ideas and uh, good memory of a dinner. Thank you very much. Enjoy tonight.